Welcome back to Tao tonight. In the studio with us, Megan's here from the Center for Hope at the Sierras. Welcome to the show, Megan. Thanks for having me, Paul. And we're talking about something very important because it is a it's epidemic in this country. Absolutely. And that is eating disorders. Mm -hmm. um, tell us a little bit about what the signs of eating disorders are and how one can get help. There are many, many different types of signs of eating disorders. Um, if someone you love starts isolating, won't eat with you, if you notice a large amount of food gone, or isolation when eating, um, people have all different kinds of signs and symptoms, um, but mainly it's pretty visible. People, you can see that they're not interested in, in being a part of social interactions, many signs. Do people know they have an eating disorder? Sometimes, sometimes, but in our society there's kind of a normal normal discontent um, where it's normal to be on a diet and mm -hmm. so sometimes those diets get out of hand and um, that's where the trouble starts. You see some, some fairly thin people and you mm -hmm. wonder, you question whether or not they have exist just because of their their physique. True, it's, but not all thin people have eating that's, disorders that's true. and not all overweight people have eating disorders. Now, we, we know the eating disorder for thin people. What is, is there an eating disorder for, for heavier people? Um, truthfully, um, people with binge eating disorder can be overweight, um, but not always. And so people with bulimia nervosa, which is binging and purging, tend to be of normal weight, slightly overweight. Um, so there's no one way to tell that someone has an eating disorder just by looking at them. If I have a friend or family member that mm -hmm. I'm concerned about, what should be the first step? I think the most important step is just letting them know that you care about them and you're here to support them and to help support them in their steps to finding treatment, whether it's an outpatient therapist helping them make that initial call mm -hmm. or helping them get in touch with a center like ours. Now, are, are these folks treatable as far as, I mean, are they going to admit to you that yes, I have an eating disorder or is it hard to get extract that information out of someone that is suffering from this? Sometimes it can be hard. Sometimes there's a lot of shame in realizing that maybe a dieting behavior has become so severe that they need some help and support to, to kind of get away from it. Um, but a lot of the times when I talk with people, they're at the point where they realize that their behavior is kind of maladaptive and they are ready to accept some help. And you read so many sad stories about mm -hmm. people that have succumbed to eating disorders yeah. and that we've lost and um, it's, it doesn't have to be that way. Absolutely not. Recovery is possible for, for people with eating disorders and um, you know there are lots of great providers and treatment centers out there to help do that. Tell us about your treatment center, Center for Hope, and that's in Reno. Yes, mm -hmm. I'm very proud of Center mm -hmm. for Hope this year. I've worked there for quite some time. Uh, we provide residential treatment, day treatment, and partial day treatment to people with eating disorders, men and women. Our residential program just treats women 16 and older. We have one of the only programs for women struggling with co-occurring diabetes and eating disorders in the country. Wow. So very proud to work there. That is, and, is it, and if, I, if I know somebody or if I'm suffering mm -hmm. from eating disorder, how can I get more information from you? Best way to get information, call us. Um, we'd love to talk with you if you're struggling. Our phone number is 775-828-4949 uh, or mm. you can visit us on the web, the web at centerforhopeofthesierras.com. You can also Google that, Center for Hope, it'll Absolutely. probably come right up. Yep. So uh, real important stuff. And with that information is uh, up on the screen. Thank you so much for Thank joining you, us, Paul. Megan. Great work. I'm Paul Reeder. You're watching Tao tonight. More interviews and more entertainment updates and more news right after this.